What time does she eat again? Oh, we are live. Ready to go. Kate, we'll call this meeting to order. Um, would someone from council be willing to read the acknowledgement on Treaty 6? I can read uh, that. Okay, go ahead, Councillor Pat. We, we acknowledge that we are in Treaty 6 territory, a traditional meeting grounds, gathering place, and traveling to the Cree, Sultu, Blackfoot, Metis, Denny, and Nakuda Sioux. We acknowledge all the many First Nations, Metis, and Inuit whose footsteps have marked these lands for century. Thank you very much. So we uh, need a motion to adopt the agenda. I think there's an addition to the agenda. Is that right? Yes, Mr. Mayor. Uh, because of the timing of this, we had to, my apologies, we have to do an addition. It's for a grant. So we're asking for 4.6 for approval of a letter of support for FCSS grant. Okay. Um, would someone from council be willing to uh, make the motion to approve the agenda as amended? I make a motion to approve the agenda as amended. Thank you, Councillor Wayne. And any comments, questions, or concerns with that motion from council? Haven't heard none then. Uh, is anyone opposed to adopting the agenda as presented? Or amended, sorry. And hearing none, so the motion is carried. And the next step is request for decisions. Council meeting schedule for 2021. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The purpose of this report is to establish regularly scheduled council meeting dates, times, and places for the period ending October 2021. That we recommend the town council approve the council meeting schedule for the period of November 1st, 2020, to October 31st, 2021, as set out in Enclosure One. Council approves the meeting date schedule at the annual organizational meeting of council, strategic plan priority areas, a community is educated on responsibilities, limitations, council and administration, an open and interactive community engagement program with youth engaged. Other impacts, Municipal Government Act, RSA 2000, Chapter M26, Subsection 193, provides that council may decide at a council meeting in which all councillors are present to hold regularly scheduled council meetings on specific dates, times and places. As per bylaw 02-2019, a bylaw that addresses council meetings and transactions of council, council meetings are open to the public commencing at 7 p.m. and are scheduled on the first and third Wednesday of the month, except for the months of July and August where a summer break is provided. In July, the regularly scheduled meeting of council will be on the first Wednesday of the month and in August, the regular scheduled meeting of council will be on the third Wednesday of that month. Communication. Once approved, administration will ensure that council meeting dates are posted on the Town of Bruderheim website. Thank you, CEO Pat. Um, so we're looking for a motion from council to set the council meeting schedule for 2021. I'll make that motion. Thank you, Councillor George. I make a motion that town council approve the co council meeting schedule for the period of November 1st, 2020 to no October 31st. 2021 has set out in enclosure number one. Thank you, Councilor George. Any comments, questions, or concerns from Council with that motion? Just a comment. Yeah, uh, you're muted. Uh, I Council. got it. Am I in? <laughs> okay. Uh, just the the date on the enclosure. November 29, 2019. Okay. Talk. Is it not till October 2021? Yeah, just a typo. That's it. Thank you for catching that. Good job. Sharp eyes there. Um, any other questions, comments, concerns from council with that motion? Uh, just one question. October 6th, that would be the last uh, council meeting date of this present council. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct, Mr. Mayor. Okay. Yeah, just wanted to make sure that that was highlighted. Great. So if there's no other comments, questions, or concerns, is anyone opposed to this motion for the council meeting schedule? Hearing none, then the motion is carried. Uh, 4.2, appointment of deputy mayor slash acting mayor. 
Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The purpose of this report is to approve the appointment of the Deputy Mayor and Acting Mayor for the period of one year, October 31st, 2020 to October 17, 21. Recommendation the Town Council approve the appointment of as Deputy Mayor for a period of one year, October 31st, 2020 to October 17, 2021. The Town Council approve the appointment of as Acting Mayor for a period of one year, October 31st, 2020 to October 17, 2021. On April 3rd, 2019, Council approved Bylaw 02 2019, a bylaw to regulate the proceedings of Council meetings and transacting business by Council for Municipality. In this bylaw, Council meetings, Part 6, Section 6.1, Organizational Meetings, Subsection B2, includes resolution for the appointment of a Deputy Mayor and Acting Mayor for a one year term. These appointments are reviewed annually at the Organizational Meeting of Council, Strategic Plan Areas, the community is educated on responsibilities and limitations of Council and Administration. Other impacts, Section 152 of the Municipal Government Act, RSA 2000, Chapter M26 requires Council to appoint one or more councillors as Deputy Mayor and give Council authority to appoint a councillor as Acting Mayor if both the Mayor and Deputy Mayor are unable to perform the duties of the Mayor. Communication information will be posted on the Town of Bruderheim website. Thank you That's very right, much. Mr. Mayor. Thanks, CAO Pat. Um, so we're looking for um, uh, who would be wanting to step forward uh, for for that uh, period of time for the deputy mayor. Um, does Deputy Mayor Judy right now want to uh, continue on? And does anyone uh, wish to also be a deputy mayor for the period of one year until October? It's not actually to October 31st, it would be October 6th, right? Cool. October 17th, the day yeah. before the election, right? Yeah, the election is the 16th, I thought I read. 18th. 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 Yeah, 18th. Right, yeah, okay. So we're, we're good there. Um, Can we nominate somebody? Sure. I would like to nominate Dan. I think this would be a opportunity for councillors, um, Dan, to just see what it's like in the trenches sometimes he's um he seems pretty keen and i think he would uh do you want to say learn something we're always learning something but um you know to appreciate that um, ability to just get a little closer view yeah thank you for that nomination does uh counselor dan uh, wish to leave his name stand for that nomination Um, I'm actually not going to lie. That was completely unexpected. Um, I, you know what? I wouldn't mind giving it a shot if, uh, if you guys are cool with that. That's great. Uh, thank yeah. you for doing that. That's great that you step forward with it. Um, so do we need to do a vote or, um, is there somebody else that wishes to be nominated for, uh, Deputy Mayor? I uh, believe that uh, Councillor Judy hasn't declined that offer. Nope, and I haven't heard from her yet. So just checking to see if there's any more nominations uh, out there. Um, no, and I will decline. I think Dan would be a, a good um, a good pick, a good fit. Let him learn something. Awesome, thank you for doing a great job as Deputy Mayor in the time that you were on board. Very much appreciated, stepped in uh, greatly. So. That great job, Judy. Thank you. And thank you for being willing to let uh, Dan step forward to learn a little bit. That's great. Um, calling one more time for any more nominations or interest in the deputy mayor, acting mayor position. Okay. Um, so would someone, do, we, we need a motion for this, right? CAO Pat? That's correct, Mr. Mayor, and it would be for Deputy Mayor. We'll do a separate one for yeah. Acting Mayor. Right, so would someone be willing to make a motion for Deputy Mayor to approve the appointment of Councillor Dan as Deputy Mayor? I would like to do that motion. Thank you, Councillor Pat. I recommend that Town Council approve the appointment of Councillor Dan as Deputy Mayor for a period of one year, October 31st, 2020 to October 17th, 2021. Great, thanks for that motion, Councillor Pat. Any comments, questions, or concerns from council on that motion? Um, I'd like to say something real quick, if that's okay. 
Sure. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for this nomination and actually for having the faith and the uh, confidence in me to help me learn something new. Appreciate it. Yeah, no, you, you're appreciated as well, Confident. So is there any other comments, questions, or concerns before we call for a vote? Okay, anyone opposed to this motion? Hearing none, the deputy mayor is now Elsa Dan. Awesome. Welcome aboard, Dan. Love your congratulations. Your Great attitude. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, now we're looking for the role of acting mayor. Um, anyone interested in uh, appointment of acting mayor? Any nominations out there? I'd like to uh, nominate Wayne if he would like. Councillor Wayne, would you accept that nomination? I suppose I could, yeah. I great. would so, George, thank you. Thank you very much. That's uh, great. Uh, anyone else express interest or nomination? Okay, so would someone be willing to make that motion for acting mayor for Councillor Wayne? Councillor Pat, uh, I think you're muted, but it sounds like- I got it, I got it. <laughs> All right. Uh, you see, you gotta take care of your councillors. I got it. <laughs> the town council approved the appointment of uh, Councillor Wayne as acting mayor for a period of one year, October 31, 2020 to October 17, 2021. Great, thank you so much for that uh, motion, Councillor Pat. You're welcome. Um, any comments, questions, or concerns from uh, Council on the appointment of Wayne as acting mayor? Okay, not having heard anything, I just want to comment that it's awesome that you folks are stepping up in these roles. That's just great. Uh, very much appreciated. Um, call for a vote then. Anyone opposed to this motion? Okay, haven't heard none, the motion is carried and we have the deputy mayor and acting mayor roles filled. Great news. Moving along, now we're on 4.3, council committee boards and commissions. And um, in the preamble, CAO Pat, maybe we we'll talk about the process that we'd like to go forward with. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. So the purpose of this uh, report is to appoint members of council to various committees, boards and commissions. The town council approved the appointment of council members to council committees, boards, and commissions confirmed as of October 14, 2020 organizational meeting of council. Council history, bylaw 02, 2019. Bruderheim council meeting procedures bylaw was passed on April 3rd, 2019. Bylaw 02, 2019. Meeting procedure bylaw section 6.14 states that council appointments to committees, boards, and commissions are reviewed and updated at the annual organizational meeting. Other impacts, legislative and legal, section 153C of the Municipal Government Act, RSA 2000, chapter M26. Councillors have the following duties to participate in council meetings and council committee meetings and meeting with other bodies to which they are appointed by council. Appointments are made on the basis of interests, expertise and requirements of committees while meeting the needs of community and striving for a balance in committee workload requirements. Each councillor is provided with a committee list and given an opportunity to identify their preference for appointments. Once approved, administration will send out letters to the chairs of the council committees, boards, and commissions, advising them of the appointment of council. The information will be posted on the town of Bruderheim web. So, Mr. Mayor, I will um, have uh, the director of planning and legislative services. She will go through uh, all the committees. And of course, uh, during COVID, lots of this can be moving around. And uh, I suspect this won't be the first time that we bring the committee list to council uh, with the changing environment. Uh, we did our very best to try to nail down when the meetings are, but of course things are changing all the time. So um, I will let the director of planning and ledge take over from here, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, CAO Pat. Okay. Everything working okay over there? No? 
not hearing anything, so it must be some work on uh, IT happening there. Working on the Powder, are we having some technical glitches? <laughs> We can see Sherry's name, but we and we can see she's supposed to be unmuted, but we're not sure what's going on. Yeah, they're not, working not on it. They're working on it. Hello, Thank you. Can Pat. you hear me? Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, in looking at the uh, council committee list, I just have a couple of questions um, to ask. Judy, is the Lamont County um, Housing Foundation still having a representative at meetings? Uh, yes, just as you listed there, every second um, every second month on a Monday night. And what about the Rural Transportation Group? Call the chair. It's just so that is still existing as a committee. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we'll start at the top, and uh, we'll just kind of go through. And what I did is I brought forward our last committee list, and I checked with many of you not everybody, but most of you, um, to find out if your meetings had changed. And uh, what the common theme I heard uh, from everybody is that it's kind of at the call of the chair when people are, are available, when they can make the meeting work. And we did hear uh, Councillor Alaco mention that the Northern Lights Library System might be changing their meetings to Friday mornings. Is that correct, Wayne? Yep. And so that one is a chain, it's three times a year, but it's something to keep in mind when we're looking at that particular position. So I'm wondering if, has everybody had a chance to take a look at the committee list? Honestly, is, I, I didn't, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I actually was trying to get all this information today and I wasn't able to, I apologize. Okay, so maybe if, uh, if we start at the very top of the list and see if people want to stay on that same committee or if they find that it's not working for them and then we know that that's kind of an opening. So the John S. Batuk Water Commission, uh, Mayor Houck is appointed for four years as the uh, primary representative, so there'd be no change there. We have Councillor Scoosball as the alternate. Councillor Scoosball, are you okay with that? Yes, sorry, everything went black there for a second. Is there anyone else that would like to be appointed to that commission as an alternate? Then we'll leave that one as is. The Solid Waste Commission, um, again, it's Mayor Houck uh, that's appointed to that one. Councillor Campbell is the alternate. Councillor Campbell, are you okay with that? Yes, I'm okay with that. Is there anyone else interested in that? Okay. The Alberta Hub is the third Monday every second month. It's in St. Paul. It's during the day. Deputy Mayor Schuler has been taking uh, as primary representative and Councillor School Spa was alternate. Is anybody requesting a change? Uh, that works for me because it's still during the week and I can schedule things around it. Yeah, I'm still okay. Okay. Alberta Industrial Heartland is automatically Mayor Houck. And right now the back, the alternate is uh, Councillor Lee. Mm -hmm. Councillor Lee, okay with that? Okay. Community Adult Learning Council. Um, it meets six or seven times a year. It's during the day. Um, Councillor Lee is the primary representative. Deputy Mayor Schuler is the alternate. Does anybody would like to change? I'm good. Okay. Fort Air Partnership. It's the second Monday of the month. It's in Fort Saskatchewan. Councillor Campbell is the primary representative. Councillor Scoosball was alternate. Anybody really want to change? I'd like to uh, change that. Uh, it doesn't meet with my schedule. Lots of times I don't get off work till late and uh, um, 
I've had to rely on Council of Schools Ball a couple of times. I have no issues uh, taking the primary on that. If I like. can switch. I can switch the secondary if you don't mind. Yeah, for sure. So unless anybody else wants it, <laughs> but I'm good with it. So Councillor Skuska Ball will become the primary representative, and the alternate will be Councillor Campbell. Does that work? Yes, yep. it does. Okay. C uh, Heartland Citizens on Patrol. Uh, the fourth Tuesday of the month, and right now it's Councillor Aleko, <coughs> primary representative. Councillor Campbell is the alternate. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay too. Councillor Campbell and Councillor Aleko, okay. Uh, the Inter-Municipal Collaboration Committee, and it's whenever those meetings are called, and currently it's Mayor Hoke and uh, was Deputy Mayor Schuler. Yeah, I don't think we've had one, hey, Carl? Uh, I don't think so. Came close to, but nothing so far. I'm still interested in being a part of that. Yeah, I suppose I can leave my name there unless, Dan, you want it. It's good to get out there and get to know the other counselors saying that. But I know yeah. we didn't have no meetings this last year, so. Um, what it, Whatever you guys think is best, I mean, I. I'm unsure as I, again being somewhat new. Is it a evening meeting or it's whatever we set it to? I think. Hey, Carl. That's right. Yeah, and both both of us end up going, so it's like two representatives from each area if we do both. I'm not yeah. mistaken. So, you know what, D Dan, go ahead and take that one. I think it'll do you some good if if it gets called right. Okay. So it's been revised to um, Intermunicipal <clears throat> Collaboration Committee representatives will be Mayor Hoke and Deputy Mayor um, Scoosball. The uh, Lamont County Family and Community Support Services, uh, they meet the third Thursday of the, every second month. I know they've had some changes in some of their meetings um, due to um, getting everybody together. Currently, the primary representative is Councillor Scoosball and the, the alternate was Councillor Aleko. Okay with that one still. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's uh, with COVID, it's kind of tricky. We meet through Zoom, so. Okay. The Lamont County Housing Foundation. Um, it's the first Monday of the month, every second month. Currently, it's uh, Councillor Schuler and Councillor Campbell is the alternate. Yeah, and it's the last Monday of the month. Every it's second now month. the last Monday of the month. Yeah, you've got that on there. Okay. Yeah. Is it still every second month, Councillor Schuler? Yes, unless something happens, but yeah. Okay. And I'd like to finish off the term, if that's okay, with that one, just because um, four years of helping them do their buildings and all that kind of stuff has been uh, has been good because I've been taking the time to help them bring things up to par and kind of helps with my education. Yeah, okay. you've done a great job. And Councillor Campbell, are you... Uh, willing to stay as alternate? Yes, I am. Okay. The Lamont County Rural Transportation and the meetings are at the call of the chair. Um, currently, it's um, Councillor Schuler and Councillor Lee is the alternate. And I'd like to say it that one because currently I am the chair. <laughs> <laughs> Councillor Lee, are you willing to be alternate? Oh, sure. I'll be alternate. Yeah. Lamont and District Chamber of Commerce, I know that they're having their annual general meeting in November and meetings will be determined at that point in time. Currently, it's Councillor Scoosball is the primary and Councillor Aleko is alternate. Yeah, I have no problem with that one. Good with that. As long as uh, they start some meetings again, we haven't had any since COVID started. It's been very, very quiet. Elk Island Schools and the Town of Bruderheim Reciprocal Use Committee. We haven't had any meetings yet. Um, there was going to be a meeting and then COVID kind of happened, um, but it's the call of either party. Currently, the primary representative is Councillor Lee, and um, there, there isn't a need for an alternate. They just have one representative. Mm -hmm. Stay there. 
So we'll leave it as Councillor Lee. Oh, yes, I'll just stay up. Northern Lights Library Board uh, meets three times a year during uh, the day, um, usually on a Saturday, but as Councillor Rileco um, pointed out last meeting, they may be changing their meetings to Friday mornings. Um, currently, the primary representative is Councillor Rileco. The alternate representative is Councillor Scoosball. And I believe Councillor Rileco mentioned that I might have to change that position. Yeah, they're still having an, another meeting with regards to doing Fridays, but um, I think it's pretty strong that they're going to go Fridays to save cost. Um, so if it does change, um, we should find out. I'll find out next week for sure. Um, if it does, there's a whoever takes it on as primary. If it is a Friday meeting, you'll be part of the grievance committee as well. So keep that in mind. So I don't know if you want to change that now or do you want to hold off for a bit and see what happens or what would be the best plan? Uh, you inter Sorry. It's totally up to you, Councillor Lecco. If you, if you can't make the meeting, we'd have to have another review of the organizational meeting. So if we leave it to what it is, then maybe the alternate can be saying that if if the meeting changes, he automatically becomes the primary. Does that work? But the secondary yeah, can't do any. have to have a. Yeah. The secondary can't do any voting there, and they're just there as a member mm -hmm. to take notes. And... Mm -hmm. Then it could come back to council at a, a subsequent uh, council meeting to change that. I will follow up to them next week. They're supposed to have a meeting here, and then they'll make a, a final. Um, uh, decision, I guess, on it as to what's happening. So Sherry, could we leave it as is and then when we get that information and bring it back to council just to vote on this one? Absolutely. Uh, Councilor Leco, when is that meeting planned for? I'm not 100%. I will get a hold of um, uh, what's your name? tomorrow from Northern Lights and see exactly what's happening. Okay. Because last we'll I heard from her back. was, last I heard was they're still, she's, they're bringing it back to their uh, um, executive meeting to do a final decision. Or to talk about it again, so I haven't heard the final yet. So, so we'll wait till Councillor um, Oleko hears back to, uh, to confirm the date, and then we'll know if we need to bring it back to Council or not. The Emergency Advisory Committee is dependent on schedules and when we need to call the meetings. Um, currently, it is a Mayor Hoke, Councillor Lee, and Councillor Schuler. It's not yeah. mandated that we have to have the deputy mayor there, do we? No. Okay. Just three council members. I'd, I'd be comfortable leaving it the same unless someone wants to change something. I'm okay with staying. Mm -hmm. I am as well. Mm -hmm. We don't have lots of meetings and we've got all the training. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Economic development. Um, currently we have Mayor Hoke and Councillor Schuler. And I'm okay with staying with that one. We haven't had any, we haven't had any meetings really. No, I'd be comfortable staying with that one. Okay. Bruderheim Lions Club, they meet the second Thursday of the month. Um, currently the primary um, representative is Councillor Campbell. And we didn't have an alternate before. Um, I'm just bringing it forward to Councillor Campbell. You'd like to stay with that group? Yes, I would. They actually have a meeting tomorrow evening. Uh, you're going to that, George? Yes, I am. Okay. <clears throat> Would anybody like to be an alternate for that? Um, I can go as an alternate. Okay. Thanks, Wayne. Yep. Thanks, Wayne. Bruderheim Minor Sports. The primary representative is Councillor Lacko, and the alternate is Councillor Schuler. I'm fine with that one, staying the same. Now, if nobody else wants it, I can take it as well. Wayne hasn't put me to have to go, so I'm doing good. <laughs> <laughs> Ruderheim Municipal Library Board, uh, primary is Councillor Lacko. Alternate is Councillor Scoosball. 
again, fine to stay with that one for now. Okay, counts. I'm okay too. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Bruderheim Rec Recreation and Culture Board. Currently, it's Councillor Leco is the primary representative, and the alternate is Councillor Lee. How are we planning it out for the rec and culture? Is there any plans in the works on how this is going to unfold? Yeah. Mr. Mayor, I'd just like to leave that one as it is. I'll be bringing uh, that to council at the next council meeting. So if we could just leave it as is. Okay, I'm comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Bruderheim School Council, primary representative is Councillor Lee. <laughs> Alternate representative is Mayor Hoke. Yeah, Councillor Lee has done a great job, but I don't think I've had to go to one yet. <laughs> keep you away from those little ones. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's good. Them. I'd like to keep that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, senior. Hey, Bruderheim Seniors Club. Primary representative is Councillor Lee. Alternate is, is uh, Councillor Schuler. That can stay the way it is. Pat has a land like me. I'm, comf I'm comfortable. Good. She has made me go to a meeting. I'm good. No, you haven't gone yet. Since I haven't paid my 10 bucks. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> the Bruderheim Water Co-op. Um, right now, the primary representative is Councillor Campbell, and the alternate is Councillor Schuler. Good with that, if you are, George. Yes, I am. Uh, but we haven't had a meeting yet this year. Yeah. Well, because of COVID, they only have invited us to their Christmas one. And COVID's here, so that probably won't happen yeah. unless our numbers go down. And then the only other uh, meetings that we have is Lamont County CAO and CO, and it's automatically Mayor Houck and then um, the Deputy, Deputy Mayor is the alternate. So that'll be, that'll be Deputy Mayor Scusba. So I will um, redo this list and send it out to you tomorrow. And um, then you'll have all your appointments in place. Thank you. Thank you for your job, Sherry. Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. Thank we, you. We should keep the same format. That worked great. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, can we get a motion? Yep. Um, looking for a motion from council to approve the appointment of council members. Is I can make that motion, Mr. Mayor. Yep, go ahead, Councillor. Uh, uh, the Town Council approved the appointment of council members to council committees, boards, and commissions as confirmed at the October 14th, 2020 organizational meeting in council. Thank you very much. Um, any comments, questions, or concerns from council with that motion? Uh, just one comment I wanted to make is uh, I think our council is a fine council and does a great job and lots of Good work happens in these committees, and uh, I commend you folks for uh, stepping up and being a part of this. Thank you for that. So, we'll call for a vote. Uh, anyone opposed to this motion? Hearing none, the motion is carried, and we move on to 4.4 .4, appointment of members to the Metro Kalen Library Board. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Administration would like to see council approval confirming a member appointments to the Metro Kalina Library Board as set out in the bylaw 01 2018, Chinga Municipal Library Board in terms of reference for the operation of the Library Board. The town council approved the reappointment of Virginia Difference, Norma Saracen, Patricia Grishin, and Glennis Bailey to the Metro Kalina Library Board for the period of October 21st, 2020 to October 16, 2021. Council passed bylaw 01 2018 a bylaw to establish the Metro Clean and Library Board on January 17, 2018. Section 3F states, the appointment of the members of the board shall be made at each organizational meeting of town council, or in the case of a vacancy arising from any cause, the successor shall be appointed at a council meeting. Strategic plan areas, a healthy and vibrant community, a volunteer recruitment and retention program, open and transparent governance and administration, a community is educated on the responsibilities and limitation of council and administration. Other impacts, Legislative and legal, bylaw 01 2018, established municipal library board in terms of reference for the operation of the library board. Summary, when new applicants apply to become members of the Metro Colonia Library Board, the information will be brought to council for approval. Municipal elections will be held on October 18, 2021. The reappointments will be shared with the members of the Bruderheim Library Board. And that's it, Mr. Mayor. 
Thank you. So we're looking for a motion to for the appointment of members to the Metro Kalen Library Board as per the documentation. I make that motion. Thank you, Councillor Wayne. The Town Council approved the reappointment of Virginia Difference, Norma Sarris, and Patricia Greekin and Glennis Bailey to the Metro Kalen Library Board for the period of October 21st, 2020 to October 16th, 2021. Thank you for that, Councillor Wayne. Any comments, questions, or concerns with that motion from Council? Uh, I just wanted to make a comment that uh, it's great to see uh, lots of volunteers coming forward for this important uh, work of our town on the library um, and uh, no shortage of volunteers. So they must be doing something great on that board that people want to stay on there. So thank you uh, to those folks for volunteering. So call for a vote now. Uh, anyone opposed to this motion? Hearing none, the motion is carried and we move on to 4.5 appointment of legal counsel. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. This report is to, purpose is to recommend that council officially appoint legal counsel at our organizational meeting. The council approved the appointment of Brown LLP, Newman Thompson LLP and Shores Jardine LLP as legal counsel for the town of Bridgeheim. On October 25th, 2017, Council appointed Brown Lee LLP as our legal counsel for the town of Bruderheim. They specialize in municipal law. In July, 2020, Council added the appointment of Newman Thompson LLP as our labor and employment legal counsel. In October, I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor. In July, 2020, Council appointed the appointment of Newman Thompson LLP as our labor and employment legal counsel. In October of 2019, Council appointed Shores Jardine LLP as our planning and development legal counsel for the town of Bruderheim. Legal counsel is reviewed annually and approved at the organizational meeting of council. Strategic plan areas, a community is educated on responsibilities and limitations of council and administration. Summary, with the many changes municipalities are facing, it is important to contra contract legal counsel that has expertise in specific areas, and these firms were recommended by several municipalities. Communication staff will be made, made aware of the name of legal counsel approved by town council. That's it, Mr. Mayor. Thank you for that. Uh, looking for counsel to make a motion for the appointment of legal counsel. Would someone be willing to make that motion? I'll make that motion. Thank you, Councillor George. I recommend that council approve the appointment of Brownlee, LP, LLP, Newman, uh, Thompson, LLP, and Shores, Jordan, LLP, as legal rep <coughs> legal counsel for the town of Bruderheim. For the period of October 14th, 2020 to October 31st, 2021, right? That's correct, Mr. Mayor. Okay, thank you for that motion, Council George. Any comments, questions, or concerns from Council with that motion? Haven't heard none. I just wanted to say a big thanks to uh, the, that group for helping our town out. And it'd be nice to uh, meet some of those. I don't don't know that we've met these two people, have we? No, Mr. Mayor. People usually don't like to meet lawyers. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, they they help uh, direct uh, things for the town and keep us on the straight and narrow. It'd be nice to know who's helping us out sometime. If we get the for sure, Mr. Mayor. We'll uh, we'll make arrangements to council to meet them. I did. I did meet some of the Brownlee lawyers at a golf tournament. <laughs> Ooh. That's awesome. Did, did they give out any golf balls? <laughs> yep, I got um, golf balls. I lost them, but I got them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so we're looking for a motion from council to approve this. Or no, George made that motion already. So any other comments, questions, or concerns with that motion? Having heard none, we'll call for a vote then. Anyone opposed to that motion? And the motion is carried. So we're on to 4.6 FCSS letter of approval. Thank you, or Mr. Letter Mayor. of support, sorry. Thank you for allowing us to add this important motion. Uh, we were just recently contacted about a grant opportunity with FCS Lamont County, and we're asking council to provide um, a support letter that directs administration to provide a letter of support for the Meals in Motion FCSS Lamont County Region Program to allow family and community support services Lamont County to apply for funding support operational costs associated with keeping the program funded and operational. The town of Bruderheim partners with nonprofit groups and agencies to ensure the residents of Bruderheim and the surrounding area receive access to programs to support families and initiatives that benefit the area. Council reviews the information and makes recommendations based on information provided. Strategic plan areas, the community is educated on responsibilities and limitation of council administration. 
Family and Community Support Services Lamont County applied for the FCS COVID grant that the provincial government made available in the spring of 2020. The grant was to cover the costs of cater mileage cost to deliver meals to communities, cost of supplies, which include groceries for food prep and containers to place the meals in. Those purchasing the meals paid $5 per meal to offset the cost. Currently, there are about 70 seniors in the region accessing these meals. Recently, FCS Lamont County received a few donations from local companies to help sustain the program till December 2020, at which time the program will require funding to continue. This letter of support was requested so FCS Lamont County can apply for grants available through New Horizons and United Way. Communication, Family and Community Sports Services Lamont County provides the Town of Pruderheim administration with updates that can be shared on our website and through social media. That's everything, Mr. Mayor. Thank you for that. Uh, looking for a motion from Council for the, the letter of support. I could bring that letter for that support board. Thank you, Councillor Lee. I recommend that uh, Town Council directs administration to provide a letter of support for the Meals in Motion FCSS Lamont County Region program to allow family and community support services Lamont County to apply for funding to support uh, operational costs associated with keeping the program funded and operational. Great, thank you for that motion. Any comments, questions, or concerns with that motion? I'd like to uh... Go ahead, Councilor Lee. Uh, right now they're delivering 140 meals a week. So they're, uh, they're really being utilized and it's good to see. That's a, a, a big coup for sure. They initially were looking at around 100 and as I say, they have 140. So they're, they're really doing well. Yeah, I echo uh, Councillor Lee's statement. Um, at times we've wondered this year how FCSS from Lamont County is doing. And it's wonderful to hear that they're uh, able to make a difference for people and that companies are supporting them. And uh, I think it's really important that we provide this letter of support for this. And I'm glad to see that uh, our region is getting the support that we need from Lamont County FCSS. So that's wonderful to see. It's uh, very important that we get that support. And, um, but thank you for that motion, Councillor Lee. Uh, any other comments, questions, or concerns on this motion? Okay, have we heard none? We'll call for a vote. Anyone opposed to this motion? Then the motion is carried. Um, I believe that uh, CAO Pat, you were going to uh, talk about the uh, water co op before we close out for today. Yeah, Mr. Mayor, uh, hopefully you guys can all see this. So I will read it. Um, because of COVID, um, the Bruderheim Water Co-op did a small presentation this evening um, with this beautiful, lovely valve. George told me what it was. What was it, George? <laughs> Seated gate valve, two inch brass. And they were thanking us, um, Dennis especially, for his support in their new wa water vault. And it says, presented to the Town of Bruderheim Council Administration for your cooperation assistance, the Bruderheim Water Co-op Upgrade 2020. Mayor Carl, did you wanna add anything? Yes, thank you. Um, I just uh, wanted to say that uh, Dennis Moshmeyer did a very heartwarming and uh, welcoming speech and a big thank you to not only our town staff, but town council for the support for the Water Co-op, 32 years in existence now. And it's been a great partnership, good for the uh, town and good for the region, good for the acreages and farms that are supplied by water through the Bruderheim Water Co-op from the town of Bruderheim. That's uh, wonderful to see that partnership. And it's great to see the uh, farms and the acreages in our area flourishing with the support from the Bruderheim Water Co-op and ultimately from our town. Great partnership, uh, does the heart good to see that kind of thing. And it was very nice to get, accept that award from, uh, or prize or recognition from the Bruderheim Water Co-op. Uh, Dennis Mushmeyer, like I said, did a great job with the speech there. Thank you for that. And he wanted to make sure that I ensured that the council was also included in that thank you. So we have done that. and. Um, uh, is there any other correspondence that we should share with the public at this time, uh, CAO Pat? No, Mr. Mayor, that's it. Okay, and um, we'll leave the other good news for the next council meeting then? That's correct, Mr. Mayor. 
Yeah, and then I'll bring people back wondering what the good news is at the next council meeting. So without any further ado, um, Acting Mayor Wayne typically does this role. Are you uh, able to bring the motion for number five, Councilor? I, or? I certainly can. I make a motion to adjourn, to go home, or to the couch, whatever is closer. Thank you very much, Councilor Wayne. Thanks to everyone, and uh, look for the next meeting. So um, without any further ado, call for a vote. Anyone opposed to that motion? Haven't heard none, we're done. And thanks again to administration for running a great meeting. Really like the format for the board's commissions. Uh, work great, thank you for that Sherry, wonderful job. Thank you guys, very good. And great meeting. Yep, have a good and day. We're under an hour.